Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you all how I add white highlights to a drawing. So welcome back, if you're new here my channel is all about creative colouring and learning fun tips and techniques so you can apply to your own artwork and creative projects. So today we're going to be talking all about white highlights and the different ways that you can apply white highlights to a drawing. And in order to talk about this I'm going to add white highlights to this finished piece. So this drawing is the Daisy Girl colouring page and this is from the Breeze colouring book. And there's an Etsy link to the colouring book in the description box below if anyone wants to check that out. So I've gone ahead and I've coloured this entire piece in. I used a limited colour palette. I actually did a tutorial where I coloured the face of this girl. So there's a skin colouring tutorial up on my YouTube channel. And I just went ahead and I chose a, quite a similar colour palette for this piece. So that I could really show you how well, what a difference the white highlights are going to make. So here are some supplies that I use to add white highlights. Now you can use whatever you like. Um, I have here a white, white coloured pencils are good um, to add white highlights if you want a more subtle effect. So you can go over the top of coloured areas with a white pencil. I'm using a Prismacolor pencil here but a Luminance one would work well, a Derwent Pro Colour pencil is quite opaque, um, any white pencil you want and it's very good for adding a semi-transparent layer of, of white and it's not as opaque as the pens can be. So here I have some pens, now these two are both gel pens, this is the Sakura Jelly Roll white pen and this is the Hybrid Gel white pen. Now both of these pens are perfectly fine I don't have a lot of luck with gel pens to be honest, I find that they clog up on me and I have trouble getting, look even now this pen is not working very well and I haven't really used it, you can see it's almost completely full with the ink and I just have, I just have trouble with gel pens personally but I do see lots of other people using them and they do work really well. Um, for me the Sakura Jelly Roll pen is not easy to get where I live so um, I can't just uh, take this back to the store or go and get one that does work. So for me, not a great option but it is an option if you have them locally to you or you find one that you really like. So white gel pens. Now the pen of choice that I like to use is the Posca white paint pen and this is the 0.7 millimeters it's the thinnest tip that they have and the reason why I like this pen is that it doesn't clog up and it gives you a really nice opaque white lines and it has a little ball inside it so when you shake it it the the ball distribute distributes and mixes the paint so and you can you can press down on the end of the nib here like that to kind of get the the paint to flow. In the end all of them are similar and just find one that works best for you and stick to it. So uh, we have pens, pencils, the other thing that you could consider if you're having trouble getting a really opaque line is to use a little bit of gouache or white ac acrylic paint. I'm just going to start and walk through how I would add white highlights to this piece. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to add white highlights to the eyes. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to add a little line like that on the side of the eyes. And then I'm going to add a bigger white highlight up here. And that gives the eyes a little bit of shimmer and shine right, ahead, right away. Now sometimes I will go down here by the edge of the cheeks like this and add a little bit of white highlight and the idea of white highlight is that you're sort of indicating where the light is hitting or where there is some sort of shine bouncing off um, the skin so sometimes I will add a little bit around the edge of the chins and the around the edge of the cheek and the chin like this and uh, sometimes I will add a little bit down the edge of the nose and if you don't like it you can always just kind of rub it out and if you find that that white line is a bit too dark then you can go in with your white pencil and just use that to add a little bit of white highlight to the edge of the chin here and that gives it a little bit more of a subtle effect so I'm going to add a bit of that on top of the nose and I'm also going to take the white pencil and add a little bit of shine to the lips like that so that looks nice. Now, we're moving on to the hair. Actually, I just want to put a little bit there as well. So moving on to the hair. 
Now the way I've coloured the hair is I've actually left a little bit of white already but one of the things you can do is you can go in with your white with your white pen, I just need to give it a little shake, you can go in with your white pen and add some white lines just to kind of indicate where the light is hitting the hair and this is just something that you'll kind of pick up as you uh, draw and add highlights you'll just kind of kind of get into the habit of placing white highlights and thinking where where do I need it to stand out a bit more like just here on the ears on the tip of the ears I think a little bit of white would look nice and you don't want to overdo it, but if you end up adding white in a place you don't like, just take your marker or coloured pencil and just go over it to tone it down and you can get rid of it. So you can't muck up too much when you're adding white highlights. It's quite easy to get rid of if you add it and you don't like it. So now the other thing that I want to do here is I want her to stand out more against the background. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going, and this is where the white paint pen is really useful, I'm going to add a white line all the way round uh, her so that she stands right out from the background and sometimes you have to go over a couple of times and go back and thin the line up if you want a really opaque line then you will have to go back over a couple of times let the ink dry and then go back over it and we can do that all the way around just so it stands out from the background and if you're using the Posca white paint pen remember to give it a little shake but don't shake it over the drawing um, because sometimes the paint can splatter out of the pen so that is something to bear in mind you want to give it a little shake over a scrap piece of paper just to sort of get the, um, get the paint distributed inside if you're using a white gel pen then that's not going to be an issue and I guess that's one of the one of the uh, ways that a white gel pen is a little bit better than the paint pen just that you just you're not going to get the splattering so much and all of these pens are a little bit temp uh, temperamental they can they can be affected by heat and cold and all sorts of things so if, it, if, they, if you are having trouble then I suggest just get some gouache or some white acrylic paint and a small paintbrush and you have a lot more control that way. Okay so that's a white line round her and that makes her pop out a little bit more from the background. So let me see where else am I going to add some white highlights. So I'm going to go into into the leaves in the background here and one of the things that you can do with the white pen which is something I like to do is to go ahead and add in lines so sometimes when you're outlining your drawing or when you've coloured it sometimes you can lose lines and it's quite a nice way to bring them back by outlining them in white so these leaves here don't actually have any um, I don't know quite what they're called actually now they come to think of it these sort of the lines the uh, the the lines in, in a leaf they don't have any lines inside the leaf shape so I'm going to go ahead with my white pen and I'm going to add in the lines um, just because it gives it a really nice subtle effect against the marker colours. Right so that adds a bit, bit more interest to the background and now I'm going to add some highlights to the flowers. Now one thing to bear in mind of course when you're working on a drawing is that less is more with white highlights as well so you want to you don't want to go too crazy. Now I am trying to demonstrate different sort of different ways you can use the pen so I am adding a little bit more than I may normally in this sort of drawing but um, when you're doing your own thing, it's always better to add a little bit less than too much. So you can also kind of go ahead and add a little bit of, use the white highlights, not to shade, but to add a little bit of extra extra interest to quite a plain shape. So these flowers are quite a really simple, there's not much going on in them, I haven't done any shading in them. So I'm kind of using the white highlight to add, these could be little stamens or... They could even take the place of uh, where I would put a shadow and sometimes it's fun to put white highlights in a place where you might put a shadow instead so you kind of flip the, 
flip the perception a little bit and that can be very effective as well. One of the things that white highlights are good at doing is obviously adding white back into a piece and adding white back into a piece can really bring it to life especially if it's quite flat colour. Now normally I would leave white in a piece when I'm colouring, I don't colour it completely, I often leave white spaces but I wanted to show you that if you had coloured it almost completely and it was looking a little bit heavy and a little bit oversaturated then using a white pen or a pencil or some acrylic or something can really help just kind of bring it to life, make it shimmer a bit. So I've done that on those darker flowers and I'm just going to add in a little bit in these ones. So another thing that you can do with a white pen is clean up mistakes. So if you've made a mistake where you've gone over the lines like I have down here, you can just go ahead in with your white pen and just kind of clean up where you may have made a smear or just kind of gone over the lines a little bit. Now there is a limit to how effective this can be, um, particularly if there's a very dark colour underneath, but use, if you've made a mistake like that then using a white gel pen is a very good way of cleaning up your lines. Now another thing that I like to do is to use a white gel pen to add spots. Now obviously if you're doing a galaxy or something where you have a lot of stars then that's very effective um, but I'm going to add like a little kind of spotty splatter, splatter to the inside of these four corner flowers so in order to do that I'm just going to tap it like this and sometimes I like to add some slightly bigger dots in the middle so I have like a combination of and I'm just going to add some little kind of tiny little stars kind of to indicate some shine and that makes it look fun so little, ti little tiny crosses or little star shapes some bigger spots and then just go ahead like this now this is a little bit harder to do with the white gel pen or with the pencil with the pencil it would make very subtle stars but with this tip this tip for the white Posca pen is perfect for making all these stars because you don't have to rub, you just tap down like this and it makes perfect little dots. And I think this is the best pen, honestly, out of all the ones that I've tried for making stars. So if you do a lot of galaxy backgrounds or you like adding stars and dots to things, then I would definitely recommend the Posca white paint pen for that and if you want to make you can get the, this tip in different sizes as well so if you wanted to have a thicker pen or if you worked on a, a canvases that were huge and this was just going to take forever you can use a thicker pen so now I'm just going to I'm going to add some little stars to the centers of these little pink ones and you just kind of go ahead and you see you think well what what, what needs a highlight where can I add something to bring it a little bit more to life? So the piece is all done now and that is how I add white highlights to a finished piece of artwork. And you can use the white pen to clean up mistakes, you can use it to add stars and shimmer and shine to places, you can use it to add more interest to kind of flat objects, you can use white highlights to make a piece stand out more against the background. You can use white highlights where you would have shadows to add more interest. It's just a question of adding more interest and lifting colours. Sometimes when you're colouring, if you use a lot of dark colours, it can get quite heavy, so white highlights are good for just lifting the colours. And the other thing you m m may want to bear in mind, it's not so... Um, it's not so needed with this piece because I'm not paying too much attention to a light source but if you're doing a lot of shading on a piece where you have a light source coming from a certain direction then of course the white highlights need to co correspond with the light source but anyway so I hope you enjoyed this video feel free to leave any questions or comments down below let me know what you think and let me know if you have any tips for adding white highlights to drawing. And these tips can apply to whatever creative projects you do, whether it's art, drawing, art, scrapbooking, card making, hopefully they will be of help to you. So I'll see you guys next time.